The Kenya model, it starts off as an ambition of people who wanted to get this material out in the public domain. It ends up with the state taking responsibility for public information. So don't say we don't have money to start a lee. Say when we have started a lee, we are going to attract people to give us money. When Zambia started, it was driven by Professor Chanda is late now, and the successors didn't do enough to carry forward the work that they started at Zambia. Here in South Africa, Vitz Law School started to collect judgments from courts, putting them on the uh, law, law school website. It was a, a part-time effort by those who were enthusiastic about it. And the Constitutional Court Trust was keen to collect and publish its own decisions and also to collect decisions from, uh, from around South Africa and published online. If you are going to publish everything, you are going to spend a lot of money and never recover it. A judge writes a lengthy decision with 500 footnotes. That judge believes that their judgment should be reported. The computer age offers this unlimited space. You can write to your heart's content. Write the 500 page decision, we'll put it online. Let the publisher decide what's going to be reportable. So our computer age gives us the opportunity now to publish material that otherwise would be sitting unpublished. So when you are thinking of a lee, you must think of the capacity to publish material, even that which was not in the previous uh, days considered important. Because each decision is important because it affects a certain person. So there was an organization, there is an organization called the Southern Africa Chief Justice Forum. It brings together chief justices from 15 countries in Southern East Africa. So they came together and one of their objectives was to exchange jurisprudence. We want to share, we want to know the decisions you are making in your own country. So now tied with this effort to, to collect from the 15 countries and with the chief justice who supported it. That's why you find that what you find on SAFLI are decisions. Lots of them are court decisions. Less statutes, more court decisions. Because the chief just the judges were easier to cooperate with because they saw the need for this exchange. We are working on Zamli. Zimli has just launched. We have Malawi Lee, we have Mosley, we have in Seychelles Seili, Sierra Leone, Sierra Lee, we have Swazli, we have Leslie in Lesotho. And, and, and they are all building this network of independent freestanding leads that are coordinated by African Lee and publishing into this space. Money is actually not a problem, but the partnership is. So what's going to work for you is to identify the partners in each individual country. So you look at the access to information rights that your citizens should have. But it's not only the source of information, but actually having people within those entities who are keen to participate in free access to law. So you identify the catalysts and try and make them the starting point. The starting point is important because if you don't start right, you are not going to go far. The business sense in legal publishing is not easy to develop. Because any publisher will tell you that if you are publishing, you only start breaking even after 500 copies. So you ask yourselves, what is a foolproof model? Because all the other models you can think of, you can't sustain it on commerce, you can't sustain it on donation. What it requires for you to have a lead that succeeds is to understand firstly that a lead is about a public duty to make legal information freely accessible. Its success does not depend on commercial sense or on you attracting simply donor funding. Its future depends on you being able to sustain it, but you sustain it on two fronts. There's sustainability on the financial sense, then there's sustainability on the idea sense. The idea is now sustained in Kenya. The people in Kenya now believe they ought to receive this information and it empowers them. Governments can help you. Where we have partnered with the judiciaries, they have given us employees who are already on civil service payrolls. You might not have the money to travel to come to this conference. You might not have access to training. You might not have access to donor funding that can help you to carry out projects. That's where it comes now, the issue of NGO and independent entity partnerships. It's a partnership. You can never achieve it alone. As long as the, your mentality is that this is our product, you are not going to succeed. Because your lead must have legislation from parliament, drafted by the draftsman in the Minister of Justice or AG's office. You have ju 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 judgments made by the judiciary. You have secondary information produced by the academia who comment on it. And then you have the consumer who is a judge, lawyer, 
the teacher of law and the member of the public and the journalist. You need all those people to understand the role of this entity and to buy into it. We look at how many hits per day, how many people are accessing the latest judgment that has come out. And if you look at some of the lists, you actually see an exponential growth in terms of the numbers of the people who access material. Go offline for two hours and see how many calls come in. Let there be a newspaper report about a matter I had yesterday and see how many journalists want to know where the judgment is, even if it hasn't been delivered. That's when you start to see that people are actually now becoming dependent on the material you produce. But at the start, the work of a Lee is a sacrificial work. You have to be committed to it. It doesn't become successful overnight. When you get statutory recognition, you must have recognition by practice. That reputation grows. And if you start getting judicial officers wanting their judgments to be published on your website, you can actually start setting terms. This is the standard format that you have to use. <laughs> All our judgments must come in Arial 12. This is where you put underlining. This is where your name goes. This is what the standard format you must use in writing judgments. Then you start getting buy-in because people see the benefit. Once you're on the role as a lead, you start getting new responsibilities. People are starting to ask you, why don't you publish a textbook? Why don't you get a collection only of family law decisions? You start getting these, all these responsibilities. And if you are successful, the donors are easy to convince because you go to them and say, we have this product, we have 36,000 decisions that are accessible to millions of people in our country. In fact, every day, 10,000 people access them. Donors want successful projects. They want to go to their boards and say, I funded 15 leads in Africa. And now you can have a million decisions from the African continent at the press of a button. You go to the next donor, they will come to you because you are organized. So don't say, I must get a donor first before I do something. Do something with the little you have and you'll see how many donors come to your door. So the best model is a model that starts off with commitment. That thinks about financial sustainability. That sustainability might not come from you making profit, but developing partnerships, be it government, the legal profession, or in fact commercial entities, that enables you to keep going. You must sow that seed of sustainability in terms of getting people to understand the importance of legal information. You will be amazed how many ordinary people want to read court decisions. You are influencing life without you knowing it because people take a different course. It's hard work, it requires sacrifice. But once you have done it and once you have a Leo operating and working, you realize that it is the easiest work. You wake up every morning, you add, you add your 15 judgments that came that very day, you spend more time developing your Lee building new relationships, building new products, trying to satisfy a growing market. It is a satisfactory thing to do and you know you have contributed at least in a part of your life to a public interest initiative. I thank you.